Isolation Nation. You might have heard the tail end of a chicken sound there. That's our <laughs> producer, Taylor, who likes to make chicken sounds to freak me out. But I'm a professional. I won't even address it. <laughs> it's fucking Fan Fridays, and this is the Social Distancing Social Club. It's going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait for this to go down. And if I can't wait, I may as well get it going. So let's welcome the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the Triceratops. It is Quarantine's own Steve Hofstetter. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> oh, hey. What? Oh, hey. What's going on, everybody? What up, dude? All right, I found some stuff while moving. Anyway, welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. If you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. Hello. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal at SDSCshow.com, of course. You can Super Chat on YouTube. Do all of that stuff. Yeah, you should. Like, yeah, to to totally. Do you think you I should? Think better? What? I, I think we should talk about it, though, for a little bit. Do you think, sure, I think we should? should? Yeah, let's just like try to extend that moment. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Can we not? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> Bow wow. Oh, it's my turn? Okay, cool. Uh, Steve, did you move into a prison? What is behind you? Are those bars? <laughs> uh, these are, uh, I'm in the recording studio part, and apparently this is part of sound design. That yeah. existed. Is the recording studio part of Steel City, you're saying? Yes. Yeah, I'm in the actual I'm in the actual studio right, right. now. Well, if you were in an orange ju jumpsuit instead of a khaki shirt, you'd look like you're in prison. That's all I'm saying. That's not khaki. <laughs> you think that you think that this is what prison not looks khaki. like, Bowers? I think that's what you look like in prison. Okay, yes. I'm in I'm in a wooden prison of my own design. Is that Facebook jail? Are you an actual Facebook jail? I'm an actual Facebook jail, uh, where they have a couch that sounds a little bit like farts if you move on it too much. So yeah, I'll try not to do that during this. Uh, I've also do have to say Go ahead, Ben. I was gonna say I do have to say, now that we see this wood grate behind you, it's clear why you moved to Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, the sound oh, the sound is impeccable that. i could give you guys a kind of a little tour of the studio later but uh for now Love don't it. we have a fourth host yeah queen rachel's here queen how you doing I'm good I was, I was actually gonna say steve i really like that color and it's definitely not khaki oh thank you i appreciate <laughs> well, that i assume you mean the color of the wood behind me which is all anyone can see apparently <laughs> no, I'm talking about your shirt. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I had an interesting. I think I would have. I'd like to see how you would handle this, Steve. I, I got my rental car yesterday. I, I'm in Michigan, speaking to school today, and I get to Grand Rapids, and I go to the rental car place, and she's like, and, "Well, she had no mask on, so that wouldn't. I didn't bump on that specifically, but she's like, oh, we've got a rush right now. There won't be any cars for 45 minutes.' And I go, "You don't have anything? She goes, all I have is Tahoe's.' And I had a midsize SUV. I'm like, "Give me a Tahoe." She's like, "Those have been run by other people," and I'm like. Okay, but I prepaid. It's five o'clock. I can't wait 45 minutes. I have a meeting. I need a rental car. And that was her next thing. She said, well, if you want me to call the police, I will. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? Christ. She went from like, literally, I said two things and she's already going to call the cops on me. And I was like, all right. So then I went to the enterprise and I'm like, real loud. I'm like, do you guys have any cars? I can't wait 45 minutes. Let's get a car. And she's like, and he's like, yeah, I got cars. You want cars? And I'm like, I'll have to get my money back from her. And she's like, just hang on a second. Hang on a second. And they gave me a Range Rover. So fuck you, bitch. I could have had a Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted, didn't want to give it to me for 30 bucks a day. That's not my fault. Shut up. <laughs> so you got a Range Rover yeah. from the original one? Yeah, from the original lady. Yeah, I got a Range wow. Rover. Wow. I, I would have encouraged her to call the cops considering Michigan has a mask mandate. I think that would have been <laughs> wow. <laughs> she kept pulling it up. Every time she saw anybody look at her, she'd pull her little thing out. She had one of those like... Is it just me when everybody has one of those runs? I think they look like a Frisbee dog. I don't know. When you have... <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a Frisbee dog. <laughs> Why a Frisbee dog? What do you mean by Frisbee dog? They always have a, they always have a, a kerchief on when they, when they catch the Frisbee, like all those little collies and stuff. Have a, I know what he meant. I got the reference. When I have a bandana person, I just think they're a Frisbee dog. But is then... there some connection between being a dog that catches Frisbees and wearing a bandana, or is that just like the uniform? <laughs> I think it's a lifestyle thing. I think guys who <laughs> catch frisbees also are cool enough to wear bandanas. It's kind of a thing, you know. It's a it's a sound quality thing, Ben. Yeah, it's it's like it's like <laughs> it's like owning a Subaru Outback and having a kayak. It just goes hand in hand. It's just not really yeah. It doesn't <laughs> come with the kayak, but as soon as you come back from the dealership, you go get a kayak. Yeah, yeah. The dealer. Is this why Henry can't catch a frisbee? <laughs> that might be. <laughs> that has tiny mouth. Uh, and then and then at my school today there was a fist fight at lunch, so that was fun. Uh, a couple freshmen punching each other in the face. It was cool. Did anyway, you go to Grand Rapids it, Central? 
I was north of Grand Rapids. In oh, Rockford is that then. Because your, is that because your speech is basically, listen, in life, you embrace the side, but also if shit sucks, you can beat the shit out of motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I was like, don't bully, don't bully people. And if you do, if stand up against bullies and then this kid punches bully in the face. But I'm not sure that was about because of me. <laughs> that might have been bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, we did not have an overnight game today. So let's move right along to Steve. What's today's game? Today's game is going to be a lot of fun. Today's game, we are putting a celebrity cameo in a band. Basically, take a celebrity's name and put it in the name of a band. So, for example, uh, Seth Green Day. Um, <laughs> or uh, Walt Disney's first group, which was Walt and Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> or, honestly, my favorite game entry I've written of all time, Nicolas Cage Against the Machine. Anyway, which is really- <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but I texted you guys. I texted you guys today, and I was like, I had one that just made me laugh out loud, sitting alone by myself. That's what it was, and I was like, this is the winner, and I'm not saving it because good. I don't want anyone to enter it. This is fucking mine. Sure. <laughs> Rachel gave two examples of the game that I truly didn't understand the reference. Were you intentionally making them not make sense to confuse Billy me? Billy Cake by the Ocean. So that was the the, the original draft what of the, the game. Was, cake was by the Ocean. In a song. <laughs> Oh, it's a band name. So it was a band instead of a song. Oh, what yeah, the hell's Cake by the Ocean? That's ben not a is phrase. the second time on the show that you didn't know that song. Wait, it the is song, song is called Cake by the Ocean? Yes, it's a great song. It's a very popular song. <laughs> Where are you making that up? How does, how, how does Cake oh, by the Ocean cake. go? Talk uh, to me, baby. Do, 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 dance for me. Take by the ocean. Eh, yeah, it's, that's how it goes. It's a good song. You guys are full of shit. You're Fuck full you of guys. shit. This is the third time you've argued this point. Uh, don't get it demonetized, Ben, but pull it up on your phone, put it in the headphones. I guarantee you'll recognize the song. Because if I recognize it, it's a real it's a real All right, if you want to play the game and you actually know what music is, what you can do <laughs> is you put the cele- a name of a celebrity in the name of a band. And if you want to participate, you can do so on any of our streams just by commenting on our Twitch, our Twitter, our uh, YouTube, or our Facebook. Facebook, almost at Instagram, uh, YouTube or Facebook. <laughs> Never been but certain. If you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show, what you do is you throw yours in with a tip, at least $5 of a Venmo, a PayPal, or a Super Chat. But if you are in our front row, as always, you get up to three entries for free. And you can join the front row, by the way, for 10 bucks. Any show, go to sdscshow.com, and there's links to join the front row. You can be on the show. What other show can you be on it by just choosing to be on it? I've been Hollywood a long time. That's not how it works. So come join us. All right. Yeah. Speaking of on joining, note, Ben. On that note, <laughs> we're here today, you guys. So video front row, turn on your cameras and join us. I didn't think about this part with my new camera placement. This might be a little bit challenging. <laughs> Oh my God! You guys are the <laughs> best. You, this <laughs> oh. you guys are so sweet, and I'm sure that none of you insulted me on Wednesday's show. I'm sure <laughs> that when I missed Wednesday's show and the game was at my expense, you guys are adorable. This is the this is the nicest thing. Thank you. That's that's really really cute. I wish I could be in on it. Oh wait, <laughs> damn it, oh. Ben. Uh, that's that's amazing. That's really really sweet, guys. This is. I'll shut up and let Ben introduce people. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we are joined, you guys, by Zara Bending from Australia, who's not even using her own virtual background, but she's wearing a Steel City shirt and yellow sleeves. So that counts. And yellow ass. She's got yellow ass, you guys. That's a good idea. It's an hey, outfit, Ben. That's hate speech, Ben. I am half Asian. No. Give <laughs> <laughs> <Wow. laughs> me one of those Australian nose that has every vowel in it. No. <laughs> every damn vowel. We got Technics here with us. Techie Tax in the house, y'all. We got Frankie Berman in the house. Frank Berman's here. It's the only time that painting's not behind him, so it's extra special today. <laughs> We got birthday boy in the house. I'm assuming it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lil. Hey. Send you your birthday cake. <laughs> uh, I recommend trying trying your birthday cake by the ocean. It's good. <laughs> Billy Ocean. Plus, on his birthday, he gets to fuck that fan from the outside of the building. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
let's say something nice about him. It's his birthday. He's also a five or six time champion of the game, which is pretty incredible. We won't even point out that it's been downhill entry wise since then. <laughs> I thought, by the way, on his birthday, the fan blows him. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, how, long uh, how long has that fan been in your house, Chris? If it's over 10 years, then it's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, Frisbee, where's the Frisbee is with us? <laughs> I think that's Blue Corner Bill. We've got Andrew Ayo. Now, standing in front of some kind of a strange divider or a shower curtain, or you're laying on a stretcher. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what on earth that is, but I dig it. Uh, I'm sitting it. in a chair behind a blanket. Oh, okay. Chair behind a you have to have a blanket blocking one tiny little corner of the house. It's just, it's just in my corner. I don't know. It's just there. It's weird. It's uh, kind of a weird I setup. I like that Andrew. Um, Andrew isn't taking any of Ben's shit. He's like, it's a chair and a blanket. <laughs> Shut up. Introduce the next. Guy. I feel like he made it any more normal, but that's fine. <laughs> I feel like we cover the whole backdrop. We yeah, just imagine, touring the house. <laughs> we're going, and here's where I hang up my blanket. Why do you hang up a blanket? I don't know. Just, I, I don't know. I, it's for I, sound. Got I really got nothing for you guys. I really don't. That's not this hanging up blankets. All right. Just, you know, yeah, I get Fair it. enough. Good point. By the way, the uh, the hanging blankets are playing at the Roxy on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we have got Timothy with us. Hello, Timothy. We have got. With the uh, Martin Grant shirt, love that. We've got Jeremy Day back with us. Welcome Yay! back, Punisher. Woo! We have got Brad Clark joining us with the Philadelphia Pittsburgh Pirates situation going on there. Are you gonna be a Pirates <laughs> fan now, Steve? Uh, I I'll go to games. I'm still gonna be a Mets fan, but it's not like the two of them ever really compete much. So yeah, I can go to games. Fair enough. We got Dina the Scaff Bat. <laughs> it's a bat that is the steel city arts foundation bat <laughs> the show gets yeah. weirder and weirder i don't understand any of it. <laughs> <laughs> we've got hayden the graphics master la master joining us Thanks, we've got hayden. queen what's up hayden we've got queen rachel with her schittsburg background in honor of yeah. steve <laughs> <laughs> Show my love in different ways, guys. <laughs> Tickets to Schittsburg. Only it's one ticket. We got LJ Mutz with us. LJ. Uh, LJ Mutz and stuff's in the house. We got Dana Z Bunster joining us. Hello, Dana. Z Hofster. <laughs> oh, Z Hofster. My mistake. Damn. Love that. Mm -hmm. oh, Dana Hood. Oh. I don't know what Dana's thing says. Steve, you completely adequate. You're completely adequate. <laughs> and a shout out to Hayden too. Thanks, Hayden. It's overstating it a little bit. I'm flattered. <laughs> We've got Abby in the house. Hello, Abby. I said Anna Hood, but hello, Anna Hood. We've got Jennifer Story joining us. Ray Benjamin's in the house with the yellow beard. Nice. Oh, I love that. <laughs> love that. Lady E. Corbin's here with a partial green screen in the background, hung blanket, and a mug. Look at that. <laughs> Regina's with us. Hello, Regina. Meg Begley Jr.'s in the house. We have got <laughs> Courtney Smith joining us, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, back, Courtney. We got C Bear here. Hello, C Bear. C Bear from the YouTube. Hey, Hello, C Bear. With the we got Sarah Green joining us. <coughs> Diana Gonzalez is here. We got Judy Bonello. We got Cass coming to us with the Steel City shirt and an entire wardrobe made out of Hofstetter merch. It's Steve's dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's also what Radu wears because I left some with him accidentally once. <laughs> <laughs> there were about three years of my life where everything I wore was just a shirt I got free at a bar. <laughs> I've, I'm disappointed. I don't believe it was only three years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've got JoJo with us. Adler will be late is not with us. <laughs> <laughs> we hate Dave Adler. What's that? 
I said the late Dave Adler. That's correct. <laughs> oh, no. We have got... Who else we got? We got Frank Nataro's here. Angles coming to us from one of his better angles. One of his more... <laughs> <right on angles. laughs> I guess green screens don't work great from under angles or something. We, probably... <laughs> we got Wendy Peterson in the house. Hello, Wendy. We have Hi. got... Andre 3000 joining us. Yeah, your favorite South African from He Canada. is, yes. Welcome <laughs> back. Good to have you back. And we got Brian O'Connor in the house. And we got, and we already said Andrew Ayo, and we already said Diana. That's everybody. That is the video front row, my friends. Awesome. It, that that is amazing thank you guys so much that is that is like the sweetest thing especially because i mean moving in has been absolutely flawless except for everything <laughs> uh but i will tell you fun uh fun story now that so milton is right next to me um and Aww. he has he has actually uh he hasn't even uh peed or pooped in the chapel more than three times <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve, that's not your fault as much as you've shit on church i think he just, he just... <laughs> but, do you want to see how much dogs emulate their owners so you shit on religion a bunch he's just like oh this is what we're supposed to do right here by the pews and you're like ah oh, yeah <laughs> yeah Steve, i would consider to... what he's done basically just giving a sermon you can refer to <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, yeah, he he definitely made some pews, but the. <laughs> Do you want to see just how much he is my dog? So he had never played with a toy until the other day, um, and we f I finally got him to play with a toy. Um, a friend of mine gave me this. It was this like bonus thing from a thing that she ordered, like a little dog toy came, and so she's like, "Do you want this for your trip? Maybe you could throw it around the chapel." And I was like, "I, I guess I don't know. He's not really a toy dog." And then Milton played with it. It was the first toy he ever played with. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Milton is like weed to you, Steve. That's, that's Milton's weed. <laughs> <laughs> His new nickname is Milton Moneybags. <laughs> so. <laughs> so wait, what? They just threw in a squeaky dollar toy? It was uh, it, it was this like uh, promo box thing um with that from a grocery store and they threw in like a little mini dog toy i guess that's very cute and so she sent it to me as like a going away present and then he oh. played with it amazingly enough so this is how i find out that milton's never played with the cow toy i got him oh no he never did <laughs> <laughs> i did though so it's fine <laughs> oh, it's, that makes it better. Oh, good. Chewed that thing to hell. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got some packages in the mail, guys. Um, I wanted to show if we can do that. Okay. Um, so first I got something from Bunst. Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. The letter says, first, I need to say this. I've been making bracelets as a form of meditation for the last couple of years. I made this one for you. I hope the size is right at 5'3". I figured you're petite. And don't worry, there's no Steve bits in my bracelets. I leave that to Zara. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I got a bracelet, you guys, and it doesn't have Steve's dick on it. <laughs> Unlike the cow oh. toy. I mean, what? <laughs> 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 it's a great looking bracelet rachel that bracelet looks nice thank you so much um we also you got a a, a package from sarah green that i have not opened that i'll give you in the next day or so so i did you, sarah. you did ben okay. bowers got one i didn't know it was for bowers but uh i opened it and i'll give it to you when you're back in town but i need to say that the note said, hey, this is for you after you eat some shitty vegetables. Oh, God. And the package, I don't know who it's from, it were it was Oreos. And I'm like, oh, well, I get to eat an Oreo then. If it got for me, like my handling fee is to eat the Oreo. <laughs> but then I saw them and I can't eat them. Oh, no. What are you see? Oh, they have my, oh, they have our picture oh in them, and they're, oh, oh my what? god. What? <laughs> oh, oh, sparkling oh. Oreos with our picture in them? So you can show them off better, yeah, when you, when Wait, you get them. Wait, take one out of the box. Who's are they from? Where are they from? 
Oh man, awesome. thanks so You're much. The best. I won't you take it out of the box, it. Rachel. Be able to see it without the glare of the plastic. Yeah, can you that is pretty amazing. Yeah, I'll let Bauer show him when he gets. I don't want to open them because it's, it's kind of a thing. What'd you say, Brian? You're muted. Rachel's like, I need to cut one open. Yeah, cut one open. Yeah, yeah. Let's cut one open and look at it. I sent you a message on Facebook. Okay, so I'll do that later in the show. And then lastly, Anna Hood. I think this, I'm almost positive this is from Anna. You superstar. Look what she got me, you guys. There's two of them, by the way. I don't think, I don't know if they meant to send me two, but they sent me two. I'll take both of them. Look at that. <laughs> heavy do that's cool so thank you so much anna you're welcome so i wanted to get you guys something for the 200th episode but i spent too long trying to figure out what to get you so things are kind of coming in at different times and some things it, like one of ben's things got screwed up and then one of bowers things has been delayed because of bad weather so and steve i was waiting on your thing until you moved in, you know, took possession of the church. So things will be trickling in. That's so, okay. Anna, that is, that is awesome. And by the way, speaking of uh, things that accidentally uh, happen in pairs, um, <laughs> so, so I got a, uh, you know, I got a new mattress and the, it showed up and the box was completely damaged and cut open and the mattress had like a little bit of mud on it. And I messaged the company and I was like, hey, this is crap. Come on. This is a new thing. This is packaged horribly, shipped horribly. And I figured that they would be like, oh, here's a coupon for something. And they just go, when would you like us to send a new mattress? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so one of the bedrooms in the guest house has a new mattress. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want the a new mattress. Back. They don't want the other one back? Nope. A lot of companies are doing that lately. Mm -hmm. If you... If you They'll just let you keep the thing, and uh, that's great. So anybody now that wants to visit Steel City uh, can sleep on mud. This is perfect. <laughs> In the mud one, I just put the mud part down. So it's are right. you sure? Are you that's sure like... it was mud? <laughs> Good question. It was Milton. He's, he's excited. So I can't believe in a church. How, if we went five years ago and I said, I think five years from now you're going to live in a church, how much money would you have bet me that you weren't going to live in a church? <laughs> uh, well, I already had this general idea that I might want to do this one day. I think you'd have to go back like seven or eight years. Okay. But but I, I would have bet you all the money I had. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. Milton money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, it is, it is really strange to, to like have this place. It is, it is very weird. Like even when I was walking Milton and just like looking around has been like, that's weird. That's mine. <laughs> you want to show him in the studio? Uh, yeah, I could, I could show you around the, the studio a little bit. It's very, it's very empty. And I tried to set some lights up. The angles weren't great. And so they're just sitting on boxes, <laughs> but here, let me, let me show you the studio. <laughs> there it is. It's there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Frank just laughed at the word angles. <laughs> uh, I, uh, show you around here. Um, all right, so, wow. Here's the sound. Here's the sound bathing, and uh, uh, all right. Uh, that is exciting. I want to show you the exciting parts, but this thing will not reach. Uh, hold on here. Hey, he's right. never said that before, folks. <laughs> Very cool. Why do you have a squeaky couch in a sound studio? <laughs> That's a really good point, Taylor. <laughs> Bothering me since you said it. Steve, where's the dance pole? Because Vladimir Putin has a dance pole in his mansion apparently i so. just got here <laughs> okay all right so you, you're getting set up still right? contract hours if hours had moved yeah. in there would be a dance pole first thing before yeah, boxes the up first and build a room around the stripper pole everyone knows that steve jesus oh, yeah. yeah like bowers is gonna visit and he's like you know there's a firehouse two blocks down could we 
Can we buy that? Because that's got a pole already. <laughs> yeah, I would totally buy an old firehouse because oh there would be nothing more exciting for him than strippers coming from the sky. That would be incredible. Oh my God, strippers coming out of the sky would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's my next move. I'm buying a fire station. Why has no comedy, why has no strip club ever done that? Have a, have a stripper come down the pole from on top? Well, Look at that. Oh. Right, so what's the, and there's cream in the middle? I've never been to a strip club in my entire life, but what? I think that that's a great idea. By the way, Ben, I don't think you've been to Vegas. Do they come out of <laughs> Vegas? I've been to Vegas, believe me. But I'm, every I'm sure Vegas, they have that in Vegas. Wait, Holy so what God. was that a picture? Is that, is that a picture of Chrissy on the cookie? No, it's it's uh my, me, Chrissy, Joey, and Sarah. It's my, the thing in my, my the... That's so cute. You're on mute, Rachel. You're, mute. You're on mute. That is I've been cool. gloating about it this whole time. It's red on the inside. I took a bite instead of opening it, which is my bad. Um, <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, I'm moving back to LA. Yeah, drug. <laughs> on the show, I don't eat on the show, and now I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday when I this is fun. Yesterday when I got to the airport in, in LAX, on my flight to Chicago was Ryan Neemiller. So Neemiller was on my flight. He was going to Philadelphia, and then we got to Chicago. The flight to Philadelphia was canceled. He had to get his bags off the plane, take an Uber to O'Hare from Midway, and then when he got to Philadelphia, his Uber showed up and didn't have any room for luggage. So he had to wait another hour. No. He got to I was at the airport at 6 a.m. with him. He got to his hotel room at midnight in Philadelphia. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I feel a little bad for Ryan today. Oh, that is such a reminder of why I shouldn't miss touring as much as I do. <laughs> also, Steve, that's probably why the mattress company gave you a new mattress. All you got to do is call a company and be like, yeah, there's mud on this mattress. I don't know if you're familiar with what I've done to Air Canada. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know how you get one of those mattresses back in the fucking box. I don't know how you even. Yeah, do that's that. the other that's thing. Hard. Like, you guys want to pick it up? Yeah, come send a send a truck. But I can cut it up and send it back in small pieces and boxes. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, this this call, thing ain't leaving. Call them back and say this one doesn't have enough mud. See if you can get a bunch. Of <laughs> it is funny though because there are companies who will just be like, "All right, well, we'll send you another right away." And then there are companies that are just like, "Okay, go fuck yourself. We don't care." <laughs> Courtney Smith wrote in the chat he made that bitch Air Canada famous <laughs> <laughs> look no disrespect but Air Canada has the best flight delays of all time <laughs> I keep on hoping we'll eat cake by the ocean <laughs> it sound like it could be a song it doesn't make any sense I keep on hoping they'll be cake by the ocean. Who wrote this? Your your nephew with the ropes in his bedroom? Come on. Well, Bernie no. Sanders doesn't sing it. What was that impression? It's by Dance. Yeah. DNCE. Two percent of people eat cake by the ocean. Do you understand? Uh, <laughs> General. Dick Ted Cruz is. God damn it, that's funny. What? What's that? We talk about how much of a dick Ted Cruz is for a second. Oh my god! Uh, oh, I mean, a couple like, of seconds. ever gotten more stung by something stupid? Like, uh, and it, I was just dropping them off. <laughs> Fuck you! No <laughs> one in the human idea. history has ever dropped somebody off in another country. I'm just gonna <laughs> drop you off in Mexico real but quick. Also, you had your own plane, but no one goes on a United flight to drop his family off. And come but also, right. they're ten and twelve years old. Like, when he was like, yeah, my daughters are going to Cancun and I was dropping them off, I figured, like, okay, are they in college? Are they teenagers? Like, And it's like, no, they're children who are like, hey, can we go to Cancun? Like, you know what you say when your kids say, hey, can we go to Cancun during a natural disaster? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pretend that your kids are democracy and put them in their place. <laughs> I mean, here's two Ted Cruz memes that I fucking loved. This is a fucking great one. Two tickets to Cancun, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is fucking great. This one right here is fucking great, too. There it is. Ted Cruz denies having visited Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, jo uh, Jojo from Jersey, who was on the show before, uh, she and mm -hmm. I made a shirt today that was just uh, hashtag uh, save snow uh, free snowflake. <laughs> his dog's name is Snowflake, which is a little bit. Uh, now, now, by the way, that is funny. I, I mean, there's times where Trump said funny shit. Naming your dog Snowflake is pretty funny. No, it is. It is funny if it depends on how he did it. 
Like if he if he was Wait, aware what? of exactly what he was doing, yes. What Trump has a dog? Sorry, the, I'm lost here. The, no, that <laughs> All right, we got to we got to <laughs> come with the interjection. But the <laughs> so Ted Cruz has a dog okay. named Snowflake that was left behind when he went to Cancun. Now we don't know for sure, like we don't know if, you know, there was they arranged walks or whatever, but like the the dog was left behind while the power was out in the darkness, in the cold. I, I assume they left him because he was a Saint Bernard and he had that cask of whiskey on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I love that Bauer's dropping a lot of facts about what dogs wear around their necks today. <laughs> Secondly, we don't know that he didn't. Uh, Ted Cruz didn't ask Mitt Romney to come pick up the dog and drive him around on the roof for a while. Oh my God! Possible. Uh, or, or Ted uh, Cruz's undocumented maid was. <laughs> to meet you. you can't you can't interject that much. We we appreciate you being here, but uh, yeah, Ted Cruz. The amazing thing about this whole Texas thing is, you know, and they're like, well, you know, this is all because of the Green New Deal. And it's like, you mean the one that hasn't happened yet? <laughs> and they're like, well, it's because of clean energy. And be like, you mean the thing that Texas gets less than 7% of its energy from? And they're like, it's the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's only, there's only 2% of Jews in Texas, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> There's less than 2% of us in the world, so probably. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that great joke. It was like the first joke on SNL's Weekend Update on Saturday. It just been like, what a strange trial the impeachment trial was. The only trial in history where the victims were the jurors. It took place at the scene of the crime. And one of the jurors gave a speech immediately after saying that we he was guilty. If only there was some way we, somebody could convict him for the thing he's accused of, of the trial he just acquitted him of, when he said, because we constitutionally couldn't have the trial now, when he's the one who said that he ref refused to do it when they could have done it. Exactly. That was yeah. an SNL joke? That seemed a little long for an SNL joke. <laughs> it actually seemed a little short for SNL. <laughs> it seems both long and short for SNL is the point. <laughs> <laughs> Walk for me, baby. I'll be diddy, you'll be Naomi. All right, generals. Thank is that you so still much. the cake song? Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> I'm going to keep interrupting with cake lyrics. Um, cake ben, do you know there's a band named Cake? <laughs> but, 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 that I know. That I know. And there's a food called Cake. <laughs> um, athletic Rehabilitation Massage sent us 10 bucks and said, oops. But that's because they did three game entries with $5 and then, oops, paid us the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Renee said, good luck, Steve. Bowers, as a Michigander, Michigander, I fully appreciate your recent experience here. Welcome to Michigan. <laughs> a Michigander is how you tell somebody that you're from Michigan the second time. I'm from Michigan. Good night, good night. Uh, Frank Berman said, is it me or does Steve look like Scooter from the Muppets? <laughs> you asking if I look like Scooter from the Muppets or if you look like Scooter from the Muppets? You. Okay. I mean, a little. It's good because usually I look like a cross between Beaker and Sam the Eagle, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Who's Scooter from the Muppets? I don't even know who the fuck that is. It's the, Gonzo's me. Book. Yeah, he's the Gonzo's stage book. manager? Yes. Did you watch the Muppets ever? <laughs> let me see. Let me guess. Did, did he manage the, the live performance of Cake by the Ocean? I love that, ben, I love that you're acting like these references are deep pull when they're wildly popular. Yeah. Scooter, the stage manager from the Muppets? What stage show? You notice that when they said, does Steve the look like Scooter and a, a bunch of people show. laughed? The thing is the Muppet show. And they do the, Mom, and they'll do the kick line and the whole thing. The whole show is a stage show. What are you talking yeah, about? I was thinking Sesame Street. I was thinking Sesame Street. Can someone make their background, Scooter? Oh my God. Uh, while I read this next tip, Tam said, Ben, that song Cake by the Ocean is a play on the drink Sex on the Beach. I understand that euphemism for sex may not be the front of your mind for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking up. <laughs> uh, we also had Dana said, Steve, are you going to keep calling it a chapel or change it to Gateway to Hell? <laughs> I haven't I haven't decided. I kind of I kind of enjoy that it's that it's the chapel. We'll probably sell the sponsorship or something. But we did uh we did name the the house where the comics are gonna stay 
uh, is going to be called the Martin House because it <laughs> yes. was called the Parsonage House. And so I'm like, I'm not saying that. And then it sounds like, no, absolutely not. So, oh, you could. How about the Chuckle Hut for the for the comics day? That'd be the cool. Chuckle Hut would be kind of funny. Uh, I've also had Outhouse suggested. Nah. But... <laughs> nah. Are there any stairs, Steve, that go up into like a room, like a a room up anywhere, like in the chapel? Because I think yeah. You could... So there's actually three secret rooms. I've only been to one so far. Because they have <laughs> ladders. One of them up some stairs. They're all three are upstairs. That's where, you keep, that's where you keep all the drugs and call that stairway to heaven. That'd be fun. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, you could just call the, by the way. It'd be cool if you called the chapel Chap Hell. Just put an H right in there and then maybe another <laughs> L. Well, that's that Does not look familiar at all. Thank you, Tam. <laughs> it doesn't look familiar. We've been friends 20 years. <laughs> I never looked at you. We're in a khaki coat as well. That's cool. <laughs> All right, a couple more. <laughs> and then let's get to Two Truths and a Lie. I love how if Ben doesn't, hasn't heard of it, he doesn't think it exists. That's so funny. <laughs> Rachel, at least when she hasn't heard of it, she's like, I just didn't, I didn't know what that was. Ben's like, nope, that's not a thing. I've never heard of it. It does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good to be wearing the green. Little known Muppet fact, Scooter has a huge cock. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> it's actually how he scoots around. <laughs> no, that's how he stops and kickstands himself. <laughs> All right, two thing, shout out to Rachel for patiently waiting to read these generals. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hashtag SCSC, still city AF. Happy Friday. <laughs> happy, happy friday that was a mouthful that was i also mouthful. love how rachel read that at the brink of her patience shout out to rachel for her patience <laughs> and waiting rachel can literally say anything and we like, oh here's from text next uh five dollars fuck you ben you piece of shit i wish you <laughs> <laughs> uh, said that. I don't know. Who was Rachel, uh, great improv skills there, Bowers. <laughs> it's an improv. I've had that. I have that written down in my luggage. <laughs> That's actually the combination of his luggage. Uh, Zara said, "Fuck you, Ben." No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> She said, let's lose our minds and go fucking crazy. And I keep on hoping we'll eat cake by the ocean. <laughs> this sounds less and less plausible by the second. Do any of the lines even rhyme? Uh, what the fuck? Yes. Hoping an ocean kind of rhyme. Hoping an ocean? I'll keep on hoping we'll hoping eat cake, cake by the ocean. ocean. Yeah, that, sign, that rhymes. It's we're a, doing it's it's so a, well, we're going to get to perfect rhyme, but, you know, it works for a song. <laughs> It's great. It's catchy. Uh, Christopher Seabear said, General, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us today for the Absolutely. first time. Absolutely. Also, by the way, Ray in the chat just said, how does Scooter become a real Steve? What did he have to do? He just had to wish hard enough. <laughs> uh, Zara said, Steve, it's not a chapel. It's the Bug Chappelle. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get to two truths and a lie. All right. Let's do it. Today we've got Ray Benjamin. Get on up here. Woo! Woo! All right. Up, Ray. Can you unmute? This would be a very difficult game. It's a lot harder. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> All right. Here okay. we go. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, so two truths and a lie. See, as don't a kid, I met a Colonel Sanders. Ray. Mix them up. Don't do them too <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. As a kid, I met Colonel Sanders. You met Colonel Sanders? I met Colonel Sanders. Oh. Um, on our honeymoon, Heather and I took a cruise to the Galapagos Islands. Oh. And um, Diane Sawyer's mom was my fifth grade teacher. Hmm. He said Heather like we know Heather. Do we know Heather? Oh, Heather's my wife. Who's I Heather? assumed Heather was his wife. Otherwise, yeah, that the honeymoon true. thing would have been really awkward to go on with somebody else. <laughs> but do I know? Heather? Do we know Heather? Has Heather been on the show? No, she's she kind of like peeks over my shoulder occasionally. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I, I would true. say the Colonel Sanders thing is true. I think you guys met at a facial hair convention. I think that there was like <laughs> <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> um. How, how funny would it be is if the Heather's in the lie? 
Sir, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Green screen making her pop out of nowhere makes this so much better. Galapagos. <laughs> You're saying Galapagos, Rach? I said, Heather, did you go to Galapagos? <laughs> she Galapa went. I think the Martha Stewart one. Martha Diane Sawyer. Stewart. Oh, I think the Diane Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> No involvement. That was her worst mispronunciation yet. It's pronounced Diane Sawyer. <laughs> old white ladies look the same, Rachel. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so, uh, now, when you first saw this story, I thought you were saying you went on your honeymoon with Colonel Sanders. That would have been interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's the only way you could have found out what the original recipe really is. You know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> on every trip bowers has gone with colonel sanders in a way <laughs> i've eaten kentucky fried chicken in seven different countries yeah he's I... he's never too far away <laughs> uh okay so i the colonel sanders one yeah you look like you'd be a guy who'd be in the colonel sanders uh so i think i'm going with the beard i like the beard so i'm gonna go colonel sanders is probably true uh galapagos i that's very specific and i think if you lied about something like that heather would be mad at you she'd be like fuck you dick that's not where we went why would you went to tucson you jackass uh so i think galapagos is true so i'm gonna go also with um martha Mark stewart yeah <laughs> I, I am going with the colonel sanders is the lie i think you guys are just getting pulled too much by the hair similarities i think that's maybe even why <laughs> I think that's possibly even why Ray thought of that. I think that Galapagos is the lie because I think also it's quite complex to make up that your mother went to school with the was taught by by Diane Sawyer's mom. It's too specific. It's too many steps removed. That's true. So the lie again is Colonel Sanders. All right. I think that. Well, I haven't I haven't chosen mine yet. Um. So. I I also think I also think that it's a that it's a lie that your what was it your mother's teacher was Janet no, Reno? No, my, I was taught <laughs> fifth grade by Do Diane Sawyer's mom. I think it was Martha Stewart's mom. That's why it's a lie. <laughs> I like Diane that. Sawyer's Martha Stewart's mom. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think Diane I will Sawyer say elevator once. I, I will say that um, my brother and sister uh, both took uh, eighth grade math from Rosie O'Donnell's mom. That's a true thing. Um, and that was before Rosie O'Donnell was famous. They like she like told them to like go home and watch her when she got her first guest appearance on TV, like after she had done Star Search and everybody was so excited. And she became very, very famous, so famous that she doesn't even care that I DM her that I was like, hey, my brother knows your mom. No, anyway, the point is, Great story. Uh, Martha Stewart is the lie. <laughs> yes. Okay, are you ready? Ray. Yes. Okay, the lie was the cruise to the Galapagos. Oh. Ah, we all lose. <laughs> no, actually, no, that was a Mediterranean cruise, sorry. If you Wait, you don't, don't even know what the lie is. I don't even know what the, <laughs> the one that came up with all this. So, how, how is Martha Stewart in real life? <laughs> she's very pleasant at least from you know all the times i was on tv with her yeah i mean if if, if you went to school with martha stewart she probably brought in cool snacks on snack days you know, it was it was Mar martha stewart's not no she had this white know. streak in her hair that, that went all the way back she was a great teacher one of my favorite teachers very cool that's awesome. Good job. Yeah. And, and you got all of us. That's the first person to get all of us, isn't it? I don't think that's the best. Yeah, the first. I think yeah. that's the first time we all we all got stumped. And by the way, yeah. uh Hayden just made an insanely good background. Frank Berman has it as the background. <laughs> 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 so also much like Martha Stewart's mom, America has has quite a white streak as well. You know what yes. I mean? <laughs> Uh, she used to brag on her her daughter all the time. Her daughter was working in the Nixon campaign, I think, when I was um, when I was in school. Well, I mean, that didn't turn out so good in the end. No, no, no. 
Oh. <laughs> I was on an elevator one time with Diane Sawyer, and she's just one of the lovelier, more captivating human beings. Mm -hmm. Did she mention, you know, that I, her mom taught me? And I did mention that. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked me right in the eye and she said, I will tell Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you are lovely and captivating, and then the elevator doors open. Barbara Streisand got on, ruined everything. So. <laughs> I interviewed her on this elevator. I have the audio somewhere. I can play it for you guys once. It was a great, like, fifty-two second interview. I think we're okay. <laughs> What's that? I, said, I think we're okay. <laughs> American icon. I guess some people would, you know, rather. Be also, real dicks. Go ahead. I was in an elevator with Diane Williams, but that's just a girl I went to college with. So I don't think <laughs> Barris is like, I once lasted 52 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray. Thank Ray, you, that was Ray. great. You got us. Yeah, good All job. right, I've got um, an auction. Oh, what are you auctioning? All right. And by the um, way, Andre just suggested in the chat that who's the most famous person that we've been on an elevator with. So for Bowers, it's Diane Williams from college. <laughs> I once was on uh, in the elevator with a drummer from Steppenwolf. That was my <laughs> um, In the lobby with Hugh Grant. So I I go to I go to Nixon Rangers games and I get to go through like the the VIP entrance. So I've gotten to be on elevators with crazy ass people. And I once got to be on an elevator with Magic Johnson. Oh, and wow. <laughs> at the time, my my agent was like a family friend of his. And so like I just said real quick, I was just like, oh hey, you know, I I I'm rep by Allison Galler. And uh he's like, Oh, cool, you know, and just kinda politely you know, says hello. And then the elevator kind of stops and we're all just kind of standing there, and then he was just like, So you out in LA then? And I was like, Oh my god, Magic Johnson asked me a question. It was <laughs> A really, really basic one, and I just was like, "Yeah, uh huh, yeah, I, I, yes." I one time played basketball with Magic Johnson. No joke. It was the highlight of my life. It was insane. Six and you were fourteen. <laughs> I don't think that math checks out. It doesn't make any sense at all what you're saying. That it is was, how young Magic Johnson looks for his age. You know, it was in the same moment. So my my friend belonged to the sports club LA, and in the in the gym they had Magic Johnson basketball court. And one morning he gets me to somehow get up and get there at eight a.m. and I show up at the Magic gym, and Magic Johnson is playing basketball on his own court, full court games, and there's a chalkboard and you can sign up. So I sign up and I'm three games back to play against Magic Johnson, or four games back. Magic loses. He waited. He waited three games to get back on on the court at his own court. Very cool. He gets up. I'm up next. He, he wins that game. And we go, and I'm playing my team against Magic. Obviously, I wasn't guarding Magic. I was guarding the bad white guy on my team. <laughs> You're going to on your own team? <laughs> <I'm the other. laughs> Wait, Ben, you were guarding yourself? <laughs> Bad white guy, Magic Steve. He was playing one on one, but Ben was still guarding the bad white defense. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a few interactions on the court with Magic. At one point, I set a screen on Magic. He didn't get around it. My guy hit a three. At one point, Magic passed the ball across court. I got the, my hand on the ball. I did not stop it. It was a magical pass. Couldn't stop it. But then, one point, Magic he 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 storms down court. I'm the first one back on D. He just trucks me like a fucking like literally just onto the ground. Scores, and then. One of the most awkward, strange, cool, and worst moments of my life happens. Then we're, we're playing same game. Magic all of a sudden is backing the ball down from the top of the key. Guy on my team is guarding Magic. And Magic turns in like under the guy real quick to go put up a low set shot. And I'm right there under the hoop. And Magic's coming from down low. So I go and I smack the shit out of the ball. The ball flies out of bounds. I block the shit out of Magic Johnson. Magic calls foul. I go, bullshit, Magic. That was all ball. That was all ball. And I'm talking shit to Magic Johnson. And he goes, son, there was already a foul. And I go, huh? He goes, I called foul. Your boy fouled me. You didn't hear it, apparently. I was just fucking around. And you, I smacked his <laughs> ball out of bounds. <laughs> The ball was dead. He was just going like, I'm like, bam, bitch! <laughs> Very embarrassing. That, that
That reminds me, one time I, I played paintball once in my life. I was like 15 years old. I'm not good at it. I go to this thing. It's like an indoor deal, and my gun wouldn't work. Everybody says like a machine gun. I have one little pistol. I just shot one, and like the ball would just fall, and I'm like, this sucks. So I, don't, I get a new paintball gun. I go upstairs, and I'm like, oh my, like the, the, the dude, like one of the guys with the machine guns is standing there, and I'm like, oh shit. So I just take aim, and I hit him right in the fucking face, dude. It was awesome. And he goes, what the fuck? We're not even playing right now. The game was over. I'm like, oh shit. The game ended while I went downstairs. So I'm, I had shot this guy right in his face. He had his mask off. I shot all right let's get to some auction items before yes. you all yes and each other some more <laughs> um, that was actually like the opposite of s anding we just told stories nobody commented there was dead silence and then we're moving on but sure go ahead <laughs> actually one time i met diane williams <laughs> oh, i'm actually in this motherfucker <laughs> Auctioning off half of my prom picture bye with bye. Rachel's face on bye it. Bye bye. You know what else comes with it? Lady. What, what comes Lady with do? Oh, this wow. thing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. The uh, it's promception. <laughs> we'll do this. Aww. Wait, wrong angle. There we go. Nope. The other way was better. <laughs> oh. Married. Whatever. So this is what we're auctioning today. Please add ten bucks for shipping, and we'll get this out to you. Um, it's all <laughs> yours. Whatever. All no yours. Family. Average <laughs> <laughs> in for a hundred, just so we could give it to you on your birthday next year. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> next month. On Steve's YouTube, um, or in the Zoom chat, um, in ten dollar increments, right? So right now we've got Dana Gonzalez at 110. <laughs> Not everybody all at once. Part, I kind of want to bid on it since I'd like my prom picture back, please. <laughs> oh, smash this glass. Uh, LaBelle just said I vote for whoever wins it keeps mailing it back to Rachel. <laughs> yes. We got 125. Diana Gonzalez is 110. LJ's at 125. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> 125. <laughs> Wait, you know what would be funny? No, what, we do. what we should do is we shouldn't auction it off. We should auction how much it would cost to have you put it up in your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm not here for this. <laughs> But what would it take, Rach? What would it take for you to hang that up in your house? What would a new boyfriend, <laughs> <laughs> or rather, an old boyfriend? <laughs> no, Rach, just, just just put Kevin's head over Steve's head. So this this is a simple solution. <laughs> Rachel, just hang it up under the blanket. <laughs> legitimately, like I think, I think I would put it. I think it would take twenty five hundred for me to put it up. What would it take for you to put it up? Uh, to, to have up like permanently? I don't mean to hang it up once. I mean to like have as a permanent fixture. Yeah. You live alone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, in Steve's, defense, in Steve's defense, if you had that picture in your house and then a woman came over and saw a prom picture with another girl's head photoshopped, you would look like a serial killer. So I get why Steve would put it up. Rachel would obviously be a joke. Yeah, I get what I had the original. Even if I oh. had the original picture up, I would look insane. To have my own prom picture up when I'm in my 40s, I would say. Have that, to have that up in my house, it would take probably 30 bucks. 30 bucks. <laughs> I more pale than Steve in this picture. <laughs> I, I would, I would, it would be like a thousand bucks or more like for me to keep it. I don't want it. Or where, 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 where are we? We're 125. LJ is 125 is LJ. All right, anybody, we got it. Comes with a picture, and too. so it comes with Lady Doodle as well. You can put that on over if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Have the Rachel in that picture holding this picture. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's very meta. <laughs> and then for Rachel's birthday, I'll draw Rachel holding that, holding this. <laughs> of this. Or a picture of this show screen with all of us and Rachel holding the picture and you holding the picture of the picture. We'll put that in front of two mirrors. 
135. Maybe we want 145. We got 135 from Joe. Do I want to do 145 or 135? <laughs> 150. <laughs> oh, Dana gave it 150 for Cass. Fuck it, 150 for Cass. Aww, <laughs> that is so sweet. Aww. <laughs> Aww. So we're 150. Maybe we want 160. And we got 160. Anybody? I bid 80 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's like, I'll throw in another 20 if someone takes this. <laughs> <laughs> Does Money Bags Milton have anything to. Uh... <laughs> One of these. <laughs> I bid right, one dollar so ball. We're at one fifty going once. One fifty going twice. We'll give ten seconds for YouTube to catch up. Nine, eight, seven. No one's seven, gonna outbid a gift. <laughs> two, one. I think it's pronounced gift. Uh, sold. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling them gifs just to fuck with you guys. I will mute you so many times. Only if you call the popcorn Giffy Pop. <laughs> I'm just not sure how we're gonna turn that framed photo into a shirt for cast to wear. <laughs> Can we auction one more thing? Yes. Yeah, one more. This is gonna be fun. Oh my god. It'll yes. This is a big dog. This is a big dog. Leaves this was this was uh, with me on the road for quite some time. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss this phone number. It's in so a lot much. of your videos too. It's in a ton it of your is. videos. It's in a ton of my videos. In fact, it's in like some of Brett's videos and some of Andrew's <laughs> <Yeah>. videos. <laughs> He's at like, 120. Um, Lee's going crazy. She's at 120. 130 from Abby. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh shit. 150 from Tam. I will throw something into this one. Please. Oh, 160 from Leedy. Holy cow. She's I'm going to throw in the portable version of that right here. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it up. Carry it easily in your Taylor, car, whatever you need. Two dollars. So that's <laughs> sold to Taylor. Negative $2. <laughs> no, Leedy with 160. Anybody want to go 170? Oh, Tam's going 170. Mm. Here we go. We yeah. had Soon and him on YouTube do 170, uh, 175, then Malie 200. Who did 200? Malie Kwan. Mm. All right. Malie the Kwan actual, the the actual is 250. This is the good one, by the way. So I had two Tech Steve signs. The first one just said Tech Steve to 484848 with nothing else on it. And people were like, why? And I was like, good point. <laughs> <laughs> I made this one, which is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would hang it, I would hang it on the stage before the show, and, and like, because I figured you know people are sitting there for a half hour before the show starts, sure. and then but nobody would ever do it because right. he just said text Steve four eight four eight four eight. Nobody knew why. <laughs> I had to explain. Did you get any like? Hey, the Steve, last bid is two fifty. Just so everybody knows, two fifty from Zara. Zara for two fifty. We got two sixty. We got day. Ooh, Lady. Lady. Oh. Woo! 260 oh, from Lady. Lady. Wow. 260 from Lady. Anybody want to go 270? 270. By the way, that's about what it costs to make one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> if Lady keeps winning these options, these auctions, pretty soon her background will look like my background. <laughs> <laughs> There's, by the way, there is a video that's about the sign specifically where someone asked me if I got this on the side of the road. And they weren't asking as a joke. <laughs> They were just asking because it is like a road sign. Like this is, you know, like the full metal. Like a, I got it from a road sign company. And two seventy from Brian O'Connor. Just the idea of this was just up somewhere. <laughs> uh, they're asking, will you sign it? Uh, I absolutely will. Okay, my Hayden. lead is at two seventy five. Hayden I, I, says, buy it and stick it on Steve's car. <laughs> <laughs> I will not only sign it, uh, I will sign it on the front, just a regular signature, and I, but I will also write a special personalized message on the back that will be just for you, because assuming mm -hmm. if you hang it up somewhere. That, that sign Somebody's gonna show me on the side of the road saying, adopt a high Steve. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, but those only happen twice a year. So. That's right. Like a solstice or some shit. 
it's like <laughs> one time Ben gets laid, Steve gets high. Uh, all right. <laughs> 300. Anna was at 300. Then Brian Connor's at 310. <laughs> and Ben's at fuck Capo you twice. Is at 350. Christopher oh, Capo at 350. Holy Capo shit. coming in with the 350. Wow. I got to make I'm another one, one of these. Paper. I'm at 1,111. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday boy says, wait, every time Steve gets high, Ben gets laid? Coincidence? <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. All right. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Careful so far is that. What do we say? He's at 350. So that's the high so far. 350. And we got 360. This is actual memorabilia. Oh, there we go. Brian O'Connor's at 360. Wow. Ryan. There we go. YouTube history here. Yeah. Not only that, but it was it was also used uh, on the couple of shows I did in 2020 before <laughs> the world went to shit. So, wait, Bowers just froze. <laughs> yeah, I froze again. No, I, I, I'm in a no but Bowers, the first time you froze, you were like, and the second time you froze, you were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now he's just fucking up. <laughs> Be more of a duck face, Bowers. That's pretty impressive. Bowers O face, everyone. Bowers O face. <laughs> That's Bowers T face. <laughs> All right, everyone, stop goofing around. <laughs> So where are we at? We're at three. So Brian O'Connor's at three sixty, and that's the oh, high so far. Okay. We got three seventy. Any lady you got three coming in for three seventy? Lady's got an iPad to say. No up for. way. <laughs> I was really glad when Brian outbidded me. It was a bad idea. <laughs> that is, there is a moment of an auction where you're like, you, and you're like, oh fuck, no. Do I really? Oh shit. That's the interested, please, please, please. So at my, uh, at my, I. I perform my fraternity convention every two years, and there's this uh, charity bidding for like the banner of that convention, and it usually goes for like fifty to seventy five thousand dollars. Tama three eighty, and because you know because it is for charity, and so usually one of the rich old guys buys it for a ton of money, and so one year like and I think the lowest it had ever gone for was like fifty. And so there was one year where I just thought, ah, wouldn't it be fun in the early rounds of bidding? I'll just stand up and say 20000 And I said that, and then, like, no one bid for a little bit. And I was losing my fucking mind. I was like, there's no way. It ended up going for, like, 80000 that year. But there was a period of, like, probably a minute. Like, they had to do the whole, like, are, are there no more bids? And I'm like, are you guys doing this on purpose to me? I am losing my fucking mind right now. So, Tam... Snuck up, and it's 380. 380. 380. The time does move slower when you think you're on the hook for $20,000, Steve. That was probably only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was half a second. Someone said it right away. But, um, and by the way, uh, we could have bought two comedy clubs. What? <laughs> for 20 grand, we could have bought two comedy clubs. <laughs> I will. Oh, if it way, helps if it helps sweeten the pot, I will throw in this irreplaceable only photo I have with my grandmother. Me and my grandmother. Bidding <laughs> <laughs> went back down to 340. <laughs> All right, we're at 380, but we'll go 390. We'll go 3 Can you throw in a picture of you stuffing Magic Johnson? <laughs> I didn't believe that story at all until the very end. I was like, nope, that sounds like something that would happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, I'm about to sell this more than I've made performing in person comedy since March. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've made performing comedy ever. So there we go. <laughs> all right, 380 going once. Really going twice. Let's give 10 seconds for YouTuber to catch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Oh, oh damn. Damn. All right. Ooh, okay, who wants to buy the second one? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, somebody's gonna get a leading <laughs> auction cheap today. All the big num big numbers are already out. Uh, so, do we have a leading? What, what are we doing? We have. What are we going? I'm 
No, we did a leady auction with the. We did a leady auction. Oh, is that the one we're doing? Yeah. Oh, we another one. I have one. No, no, that, that was. I, I have one oh. if you want. Oh, oh what ass Ben? <laughs> what ass <laughs> police officer? <laughs> He's just come in from that storm. <laughs> He's no. <laughs> that went from like. The, the the opening of the show with the fans that meant so much, and then the fact that this goes for 2080 is incredible. Oh and I'm like, God. oh, this is such a wonderful episode. Oh, fuck. That's not PG enough. Yeah. We can go with Lizzo, Steve, or tea drinking Ben. I will throw in video of me and Steve having private time when he was stoned after the 200th. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Zara's been 200 already. Wet ass. <laughs> so everybody's aware. Uh, Lady's putting this towards an iPad so she can do more uh, digital drawings. So. Yes, indeed. Because it costs too much to do this many drawings a month on just paper. <laughs> 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 and my house is starting to look like what I imagine Ben's living room looks like. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Carmel controls the living room. It's gorgeous in there. <laughs> Ben's bedroom, then. Carmel also controls he Ben's controls bedroom. Ben. <laughs> He's in the place he controls. It sounds like Ben is a rival gang. No, that's Carmel territory. You don't go over there after, not after dark. She walks in the kitchen. She's like, you coming out of my corner? <laughs> Steve literally owns half of the comedy club right over there. This is literally the only part of my own home that I control. This is <laughs> <laughs> you could probably hang out in the t-shirt shed. If you're in the t-shirt. Oh my shed. god. <laughs> the t-shirt shed. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. This is for the, the only part of my house thing, Bowers right? has seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can walk around the outside of the house to get the t-shirt shitty. Living room, terrible. Well, yeah, because that's Carmel territory. He doesn't want to. Yeah. Bad Carmel. All um, right, so we've got two hundred. Oh. For the wet ass police, oh, you want to hold LJ's it up again? Doing three fifty if you throw in Ben T with it. So we'll do that. So three fifty. So now it's it's wet ass policeman and Ben drinking tea. So the two most sexual drawings. Oh, of oh Dar looks crushed. We, we'd say that they're the two most sexual drawings on the show, but not even close. Uh, I mean, have you seen the one of Jarrett saying goof on me, daddy? <laughs> I said it the host. I said the host. It, did Zara just bid 484? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Does anyone want to bid 48,000? <laughs> 20 grand. Please, someone else say something. Please, someone oh. else say something. Yeah. <laughs> Four thousand eight hundred and forty-eight dollars and forty-eight cents. Let's go. All Can right. we see Stop the two it. pictures again, lady? Yes, indeed. This one and this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to fit them both together. There we go. Yeah, somehow when Steve gets high, we make it work. <laughs> I didn't like the joke of Rachel being my ex. I definitely don't like the joke of Ben being my ex. <laughs> That's why you're going to get high a couple of times a year. We're going to keep it alive, Steve. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do 484 to Zara going once. 500 from LJ. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> That is not a multiple of 80 of 40, Lady. however. Lady, people are asking how much more do you need for that iPad? It depends on how much this sells for, honestly. If it if we don't get much, I'm fine with a cheap little thing that's used. I think used stuff is great, so I'm not particular. Upsell, Lady. Up hey, the pads are I so expensive. <laughs> They're so expensive. I'm struggling. Please help me. <laughs> Probably would, though, be a lot easier to draw on one of those big iPads. You don't want an iPad mini to draw on, right? Yeah, right no. now I'm digitally drawing on my phone to test it out, and it's a mess. <laughs> Especially the paint. It's hard to get off. Yeah, yeah. I used a Sharpie, and I haven't recovered since. It's all right, 520. 520. Wow. <laughs> 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 Aiden just asked if an iPad costs four, forty, forty thousand dollars. Oh wait, uh, Ray Benjamin. Wait, air starts. Okay, now we're now we're bidding on iPads. Now I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> we're just shopping for Lee. iPads. <laughs> we're selling five twenty. <laughs> 
Like, I'll buy the iPad for 600 Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still at... Very confusing. That's hilarious. We're at 520 from Zara. How does it work? It, wait, if you get a dollar, but don't go over, does it work that way? <laughs> this is not the price. <laughs> we can throw in this iPad that was Carmel's that literally won't turn on. It's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> it's 540. Okay, 540. No. In this, you will receive nippleless Ben and uh, <laughs> Steve with a whip, and for some reason, like Robin Hood like boots. Because I for guess some that's reason, what I, that's what I'm I fashionable. Was sexy. I'm fashionable. I refer to the T picture as. I prefer the T picture as nippleless rage. <laughs> Let's go. Why didn't I give you nipples? Why? Why give what God has not? <laughs> because you didn't want America to get hungry, lady. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 540 from LJ. Oh, <laughs> oh, there Zara just said I was going to use these images in my teaching materials, but all good. Are you teaching a scared straight program? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I teach policing powers and the law on consent. And when I teach law on consent, I use the analogy of tea. So, very specific references. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You have Ben's consent to use that picture to teach <laughs> Something about Lizzo in there? Is that in your we're teaching? Five no, we're five LJ, anybody want to go higher than 540? Go on once. 540 going once. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. just asked if you would add the nipples for an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> if you really want, I will add the nipples. Depending on how much you pay, I will make them larger and larger. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of direct dishes. <laughs> oh my god. That happens the longer you wait since your last meal. <laughs> That's how it works? They get bigger and bigger. It's like, it's like oh dilating God. people. I think we're sold for 540 to LJ. <laughs> Congrats, LJ. Woo! Wow. All right. Go. Amazing. Is it time for the game, Rachel? Uh, if you give me just a minute. <laughs> ben, you want to tell a story about, uh, you know, embarrassing yourself in front of another celebrity? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One time I was on elevator with Anderson Cooper at the CNN building. And I tried to show him something on my phone, even though he was clearly positioning himself right in front of the buttons, staring at the buttons, trying like an inch from the wall, trying to not to have anybody talk to him. I'm like, whatever. What do you think about this, Anderson Cooper? He was like, all right, I see your point. And then went right back to the fucking wall. Mm -hmm. What were you showing him? I was showing him a photo of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was once on an elevator with Gilbert Brown, and I thought I was going to die. That's incredible. Who's that? He wrote Cake, Cake by the Ocean. The ocean. <laughs> Gilbert Brown was almost a 400 pound defensive lineman. And I'm yeah. on an elevator with wow. him. Yeah, well, the two, yeah, I mean, that's, did you have to check the weight? I mean, there's a point where you get an elevator and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> we were in Cancun and the elevator wouldn't go till I got out. That was very sad. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Much like Texas couldn't get out of their situation until Ted Cruz got out of Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's catch up so we have some generals first and first i do want to say um i leads is getting some extra tips to go towards that ipad so peter amsel five canadian for the ipad funds uh sarah blue lubachek 20 bucks for leady it's not much but go towards the ipad or art supplies and alexander Breyer another three bucks uh towards an otter box for leady <laughs> <laughs> Ben, that's and not then, a box of otters. That's a case. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't know that for sure, because how would you refer to a box of otters? Actually, a very good point. Um, Thank there's you. actually a reference for that. I thought they were trying to get Lady the fucking otter. <laughs> Did somebody say fucking otter? <laughs> how do you have this so quickly? I'm interested. How do you have this so quickly, Ben? That's what I'm saying. How does that happen so fast that you have an otter fit? <laughs> That's the best one. I love that film. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, the lips. It makes your mouth all big. God damn. <laughs> uh, let's just say I'm into otter erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> 
It is this day I quit the show. <laughs> Good luck, whoever has this job next. Uh, do you guys want to see my outer box? Never. <laughs> I'm looking for a significant otter. <laughs> Uh, we also, we had Wendy said, Dance of Cake by the Ocean is headed by Joe Jonas of the Jonas Brothers, which would explain why Ben refuses to acknowledge the song or the group. <laughs> Pam uh, said, I was once in an elevator with Emmett Smith. His real estate company was in the same building as the company I used to work for. Uh, very, very nice. Cannabis Jones, doctors That's prescribing awesome. cannabis for arthritis sufferers. Makes sense. I mean, the definition of arthritis is inflammation of the joints. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tina from New Zealand. I once shared an elevator with Christopher Lloyd and I wished him a happy birthday. Was it his birthday? No. <laughs> uh Dana, I served KFC to Arlo Guthrie. Alice's restaurant Arlo Guthrie. Nice. Wait, Rachel, do you not know who Arlo Guthrie is? No, I don't. No, oh, why I don't. do you Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know who that is. Rachel, this is why we fictionally broke up, okay? <laughs> That's your line yes. in the sand, Arlo Guthrie knowledge. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know because you otter know why I care. I think my favorite part is when the eye leaves the otter completely. <laughs> Oh my God, I love that one. We that? have a <laughs> shit ton of stuff coming in for Leedy. Nice. We, Leeds, you got, this is so awesome. Our fans are unbelievable. Um, Josepha, also known as Josepha, uh, 100 bucks towards the best iPad possible because you deserve it. Matt Beto, $100. Leedy, electronic doodle time. Meg Begley, $100. Leedy's iPad fun. Ron Gould, 25 bucks for Leedy's wonderful talent. Allison West, 100 bu bucks for Leedy to get her iPad. Andreas uh, in the front row, 100 bucks. Uh, Denise Cook, 10 bucks for Leedy and art supplies. You guys. Lady's crying a little bit. That's yeah. awesome. And by the way, <laughs> let me just say, I did the math on that. It seems like a little bit more than an iPad, so I'm just going to keep the rest if that's cool. Lady. Lady. Lady, if I could just say say one thing, and I, I know that like this is the first year that you're like dealing with actually having fans. If I could just give you one piece of advice. Can you throw it on screen for a second, Taylor? If I could just give you one piece of advice. Uh, uh, Lady, it is, tag it. Tag it. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I've had a shitty week, so thank you so much. Aww. Love you, Lady. All right. Very cool. Leslie. All right. So this show becomes hers and we're just kind of here. <laughs> <laughs> Lady's like, any generals, Rachel? And be like, we, we used to think we were the generals. <laughs> Lady, you are worth every cent. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are. All right. So let's do the game. Raise the hands and we'll call on you. Here are some unpaid entries that I like. Uh, Dizzy by Nature, Kevin Aerosmith. <laughs> nice. Paul Harvey, BB Don King. <laughs> and I'm going to solve a Bill Blur. Oh my God. Nice. 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 By nice. the way, Don BB King would be crazy because that's Don BB and Don King and BB King. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Triple on. I don't know who um, at least two thirds of those people are. <laughs> Ben's like, I heard the word king once. <laughs> Sam, you're up. This is my fa favorite meme and my favorite hashtag. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, ben, we have to look at it. Hold on, where'd it go? Crap. Sorry, I thought I was going to be faster with this. I believe uh, John Henson tweeted, obviously Ted Cruz was just going to Mexico to pick up that wall check. <laughs> if we have to look at it, you have to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Um, so I have mini Pearl Jam. 
<laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Nicholas Cage, the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and Eartha Kit, wind and fire. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. By the way, Tam, I thought it was going to be quicker is also what Carmel said. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Okay. Uh, I, I pay for an extra one. Uh, I have the police of Pedro. <laughs> Um, nice. uh, do you do you with Mick Jaggers? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good uh, band. Blonde Dee Dee Gregorius. <laughs> yes, Dee Dee Gregorius. <laughs> and, love that. I love that guy. He's one of my favorite guys. And one more. Um, Rush Limbaugh was a vile, disgusting son of a Beach Boys. <laughs> 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 Who's next? Birthday boy, happy birthday! Thank you guys. Um, all right, so I have um, Kevin Durant Durant. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Guns and Rosario Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hayden. All right, instead of Devo, I have Stevo. <laughs> Um, I'm a little biased. I like this one. Iron Mahayden Christensen. <laughs> and finally, I have William H. Macy, D.C. Nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Adler. All right. So there, over there is the famous spot right there. So I've got to go, I've got to go with trouble again. Um, so anyway, mine is... KMFD Emma Stone <laughs> and Steve Hofstetter Miller Band. <laughs> the last one is Peter, Paul Rubens, and Mary in a park bathroom. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that band <Wow>. sucks. <laughs> Jennifer. I have Dolly Lama and the Papas. Nice. Uh, Led Zeppelin Manuel. (laughs) And Death Cab for Clooney. (laughs) Nice. Nice. (laughs) Um, I have Leonard Nimoy Skinner. Pink Floyd with the exclamation point. And Betty White Stripes. What's that one? Betty White Stripes. Oh, nice. (laughs) Nice. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, if I may. If you're ever going to do an otter filter on your face and make your eyes bug out, don't do it aggressively because your eyes might feel like they popped out of your fucking head. Holy shit. (laughs) I like the idea the otter filter wasn't even much. Ben was doing most of it. Yes. I had to to (laughs) do that for the full effect. I have literally never heard of anyone hurting their eyes. What are you talking about? (laughs) Happens to me a lot, dude. Happens to me a lot. Abby. I have... uh... Pink Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> nice. Uh, Shirley Temple Black Sabbath. Oh my God. <laughs> and Alice Cooper in Chains. Nice. <laughs> uh, who's next? Ray. Hello. I only have two um, Mandela at work. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby, Ben Stiller, and that guy from MASH instead of Crosby, Stills, and MASH. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wendy? <laughs> Wait, Cosby, Stiller, and the guy Hi. from MASH? <laughs> Cosby, he Stiller. Used also, he used to also have Young as part of that, but, but the yeah, court doesn't yeah, allow but it. That's only a case. Oh my God. <laughs> You can't put uh, Young in the same band as Cosby. Uh, uh, <laughs> God. Okay, I have Henry Rollins Stones. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Fleetwood Matt Kenzie Phillips. <laughs> Fleetwood Mackenzie Phillips, love it. Nice. Next. All right. Okay. Uh, Brian. All right. I've got Limp Burnicut. <laughs> Is it a Limp Biscuit? I've got uh, Ted Cruz in the Pipe Breakers. <laughs> and Hostetler Death Punch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>
Anna. So I have three. <clears throat> Sorry. I have the grateful Rush is dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's all of us. <laughs> Steely Dan Muggleton. <laughs> and, uh, sorry um drinking to an excess the amy winehouse story <laughs> <laughs> blue corner bill hear me okay that's leading <laughs> art and talent <laughs> nice <laughs> I just future updates. <laughs> um, I had to stretch the definition of a uh, celebrity a bit because I wanted to honor NASA yesterday with the Perseverance rover. But uh, Steve Hawking band. <laughs> um, <laughs> Neil D. Neil D. Young Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone will know why this is funny, but uh, Brian Cox's D-Ream. No. <laughs> he was actually in D-Ream. Oh. Mara. Wow, okay. Um, I love Brian Cox. All right. Um, uh, ben, a box of otters would be referred to as a bevy or a rump of otters, by the way. Ooh. I mean, it depends if the otter's shaved or not, but I get your point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this, but a movie about a bunch of otters is called a rom com. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I, I Ben also have... <laughs> the reason why Ben didn't know that Zara is he hasn't had a romp in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you guys ever do otter your face, making these kind of eyes is exactly what causes the problem. This is what hurts. So much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ben, your your puns are are completely otter bounds. Just <laughs> okay. um, my game entry was John the Krashinsky. <laughs> Courtney, good to see ya. Yay! Uh, thanks. I got um LMFA Sandra O. Nice. Uh, for Rachel, uh Billy D N C E Williams. Dixon <laughs> five Pollock. Nice. Yes. Meg. I can't hear it. There we go. Got it? I there have, we go. I have Beastie Boy George. <laughs> oh, uh, damn. <laughs> I have uh, Nerva uh, Vanna White. <laughs> and, ZZ Carrot Top. Oh my God. I just picture him with a beard. Oh, Nirvana. Uh, Regina. Okay, I have um, Black Eyed Pierce, Mor uh, Pierce Morgan. Nice. <laughs> I have um, Betty White Snake. Nice. <laughs> and I have uh, Ted Cruz is a tool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn, this is a good game. Oh, yeah, I just got one. Um, Lin Manuel Metallica. <laughs> Enter Hamilton. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Jeremy for this material. Johnny Depp Esh Mode. Radio <laughs> <laughs> <Your laughs> Head Helms. <laughs> And most Def Leppard. <laughs> nice. uh, raise your physical hands at me if you haven't, if you still want to do one on air that you haven't yet. Right. Okay, go ahead. Hey guys, uh, I had only one and it was uh, Martha and the Muffin Stewart. <laughs> you know, her mother taught Ray, you know, never mind. <laughs> but, but I just wanted to add one thing. Um, you know, to go back to January the 6th and all of that weird shit that you guys south of the border experienced, um, you know, in Canada, when we riot, we riot about serious things. You know, we don't riot about elections and democracy and constitutions and shit like that. We riot about really serious stuff. So the best riots 
that I've seen in Canada have been in Montreal and Vancouver after losing hockey games. <laughs> and and then Canadian citizens properly. This is a really long in, game entry. <laughs> <laughs> properly go out into the streets and burn as many police cars as they can. <laughs> so are. so I'm just saying that you, you guys need to like focus and you know like get real and, and like speaking of focus andre we we have to get back to the game, the game. also oh, andre no. if you don't think it's very serious to get up inside me you ain't had none of this baby. <laughs> you ain't had none of this baby also the big difference andre is i don't know if you guys have ever seen that picture from that vancouver canucks riot but where like people are just fucking in the street during it none of the people at the capital riots ever got laid so that's the biggest thing. <laughs> and right. also, right. don't you're act right. like we don't have sports championship right. riots here, too. We also got those, baby, okay? <laughs> We're getting back to the game, guys. We're getting back right, to the game. All right, raise your yeah, physical right. hands. Right. Right. Bear. anybody else um, have game entries that they want to do? Okay, so these are the rest of the entries. We had Jonathan S. Mike Pence, none the richer. <laughs> nice. Jess Walsh. The Sex Pistol Pete Maravich. <laughs> wow new kids on the sandra bullock <laughs> oh god wow good for the new kids and let it grow over there there be massage fluffy genesis singer are they being slow what, what? Is, is it fluffy genesis singer peter gave oh. peter gabriel iglesias Oh, there you I go. Get that one. Yeah. I get that one. Yeah, that that's fluffy. Uh, what it was. The first wasn't an entry. It was an explanation of what it was. Is Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The second one, Earth, Wind, and Richard Pryor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. And the 1953 is the Flip Phillips, Buddy Rich, Little Trio. What's that? Is you could have said fire and it would have meant Richard Pryor. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> Mario Miser. Frank Zaba. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Dostal. Tenacious D. Snyder. <laughs> oh, what a band. Uh, plain white T Pain. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, they're auto tune. Kids... <laughs> New Kids on the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock. Tina. Scooter and the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Berman. Red Hot Berry Pepper. Oh my God. <laughs> 30 seconds to Marlon Brando. <laughs> Run DM Sienna Miller. <laughs> it's a whole set of instructions. <laughs> uh, Oingo Boingo. Ted Cruz the Wet Sprocket. Oh my god. <laughs> Razor. Carrot ZZ Top. <laughs> mm. Doodle Bean. Doodle Bean. MC, Ha MC Ham Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I love ham. <laughs> Cassie. Oh Counting Russell Crows. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Laser paid for Amanasala's Bill Blur. Nice. Tam, Samuel Jackson 5. <laughs> Jake M, Rage Against Steve McQueen. Nice. <laughs> Pam, Kevin Bacon, Doobie Brothers. <laughs> And those are all of them. Oh my God, that was really good. Holy cow. I game, really right? like a bunch of these. Um, Mini Pearl Jam was great. William H. Macy, DC. <laughs> uh, LMFA, Sandra O oh was really good. Uh, I really like New Kids on the Sandra Bullock. Uh, Plain White T Pain was good. I think, though, for the birthday boy, I got to go with Kevin Durant Durant. That's what I'm going with with uh, Sir Birthday. Uh, what was your favorite, Rach? 
Man, I loved Bill Blur. Um, Counting Russell Crows cracked me up. Oh. New Kids on the Rock, but like the one that made me laugh, uh, Ted Cruz is a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, I mean, so good. There were a boatload of entries today, and I mean a boatload. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard to choose. Um, I loved New Kids on the Sandra Bullock, Earth, Wind, and Richard Pryor, MC Ham, Morgan Freeman, Counting Russell Crowe. My vote goes to William H. Macy, D.C. Hi, nice. Steve. It's up to you. So many good ones. Bill Blur was great. I'm glad that ended up being a paid entry. One of my favorites. Counting Russell Crowe's is fantastic. I just like the idea of that as a hobby. Um, <laughs> Mandela at work was awesome. Uh, <laughs> the Rush Limbaugh is a son of a Beach Boys. But I'm a sports guy. I loved it. Happy birthday, LaBelle. You win with Kevin Durant Durant. Nice. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Woo! Now that fan can be proud of fucking you. <laughs> Are we going speed game today, fellas? No, it's uh, no, we, it's we got it's oh, already. Yeah. I, I, didn't even, I didn't even see the time. It's very late. He's got any entries, Steve Ben? Uh, I oh, I got three. I just I have, have one. I just have one. Uh, all right, I'll start with uh, Cypress Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> My one is uh, chocolate ocean cake because none of that's a fucking thing <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that's i had that same one um i also have uh allison brie and chains <laughs> sounds, sounds fun uh and uh mumford and the starting lineup for the phoenix suns <laughs> That was break by the ocean. Anyway. <laughs> we started with making up song names, and now we're here. <laughs> Songs, man. It's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. Soon it will be iPad drawn, but still Lady Doodles. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't play a song. Don't play a song. <laughs> oh no, it as, won't stop. It won't stop. Oh, there we go. As you can clearly see right there, you are about to play supposed proof of this song. And Steve, don't play it. Don't play it. It's not a song. This proves you and I. You might have a point. Thank you. <laughs> I just realized I could stop QAnon. I'm just going to become the press secretary for Marjorie Taylor Greene and she'll <laughs> very, very hurtful point. <laughs> what the fuck is cake by the ocean? <laughs> and I have... Steve, you're completely adequate. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I have happy birthday. Tara <laughs> Fen Monroe. Oh my God. He might, he might be, be Mr. President, but that fan won the erection. <laughs> Could also be M Marilyn Man Blow. Okay. Um, that is Marifan Man Blow. That is who that is. There we go. Then I have Swatted. No! Ah. <laughs> I love that I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Jean shorts, to be fair. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Then I have uh, Milton starting his new business. He's got his merch in the background. He's responding to emails like a madman. <laughs> uh, he's a hardworking dog. I'm so proud of my son. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, my very last one is Stephen the cow toy. Chomp! <laughs> my god, it's so good. <laughs> Lady <laughs> Doodle, everybody. Woo! Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I ugly cried. Thank you. Oh, oh you're good. There's more coming, girl. There's God. more coming. <laughs> At art for my heroes on Instagram. Uh, and ladycorbin.com. Ladycorbin.com. So let's Lady, when these up. tips are done, you're going to be able to buy Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> so we had, uh, yeah, we've got five more leads and four more generals. We've got Corin Black, 100 bucks for Leedy. You'll also need an Apple Pencil too. Allison West, another 100 bucks for Leedy. Take it and stop crying. <laughs> 10 bucks. Leedy, I know it's not as much as the others have been able to give, but you deserve every penny of this. Thank you for not only being awesome, but being an integral part of this show. Never stop doodling. Anna Hood, 100 bucks for Leedy. Kim Stewart, 20 bucks. Leedy, you're amazing. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to say anything. Uh, if I could, if I could recommend from a great philosopher, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> call him I, I call him every week, and he's—I don't know what he's—he does. I don't know what's going on. I can't. Steve, can you message him? Maybe somebody will. reach out to him. He's, thank you. Not just, um, not just, like, all right. Anyway, maybe his knees hurt, and so he can't do the show. <laughs> That's true. He's got a. He needs his tripod. Pod. Uh, Razor said, hey, Queen, I just got a really nice solar phone charger. And just like your new bracelet, it says 100% dick free. So, <laughs> the bus started a trend. However, when I opened it, I couldn't help but notice that it's orange and black. Is there a way I can test it for Steve Dick? Zara, can you hop on up to Seattle and test it? Because apparently you're, you're totally impervious to it. What if I could? What if I could? <laughs> It's well, you know, scary. Steve Dick can cut glass. That's how you know. <laughs> uh, Bunce said, for Zara to do a PSA for World Penguin Day. Penguin. Nice. Aww. Seriously? Okay. Um, well, the third Saturday of every February is World Penguin Day. This year, it is the 10th World Penguin Day. They are the most perfect non human mammal on Earth, owing to traditional medicines. And they are amazing. And they look like little sand shrews. Um, I did some radio this week, which isn't great because Australia and Facebook aren't getting along. Uh, just PM me, guys, and I'll tell you more about pangolins. Love them. Sure. I'd never even heard of that animal, so apparently you can help You can help save them, and if you do, and put them back into the ocean where they belong, have some cake to celebrate. <laughs> well, ben, they can swim, so... They can't swim? They can swim. They can swim. They can and swim. They <laughs> Excellent. Seems like the ocean's a good place to put them then. You know what yeah, I mean? Ben, your your evil plan of drowning the pangolins has been thwarted. <laughs> it's not to drown them, it's to return them to their home. Why would you think I would want to drown them? What are your home? Because I think you thought oh, they were penguins. Oh my God. I did not think they were penguins. <laughs> Morgan Freeman fan, I know a lot about penguins, okay? <laughs> Like, what about these penguins? God damn. I see you licking boxes from your own hands. <laughs> Mary L sent in 50 bucks for the iPad fund. Thank you so much. Nice. Now my phone. Uh, there we go. Uh, Wendy, my mom got Sly Stallone kicked off of the American College of Switzerland. What? Kicked out of. <laughs> Well, there goes that two truths yep. and a lie, because that's an amazing one. <laughs> Steve. Can I, you know, as a wait? Apparently, no. <laughs> Andre, Andre, May sorry, I, you, you, you can't. Very briefly. Roll, wait, you can't interject. We're running late already. All right. Uh, Technic said, "Lady, sit in it, and you will be an iPad Pro." I'm almost scared <laughs> to imagine the potential for e ladies The sky is your limit. Get that second gen pen. <laughs> Pretty soon, Lady will be able to do each each drawing on a new iPad. <laughs> just draw on the iPad and we'll auction the iPad with the drawing on it. It's going to be yeah. amazing. <laughs> All right. We're caught up, folks. All right. Well, uh, you can find me at Bowers Comedy, as always. And this coming Wednesday, we have Jamie Kennedy on Origin Stories, 6 p.m. Wednesday, uh, Pacific. Uh, check that out. Uh, NowhereComedyClub.com for tickets. Ben, what you got coming up? Uh, tomorrow night is Glebe Off the Top. Levy will be there. And uh, I know I announced yesterday Jeremiah Watkins will be there. That is no longer true. He can't make it. But we have replaced Jeremiah Watkins with star of 24 and Mr. Show, Mary Lynn Rice Cub, will be my special guest. Ooh, nice. So that's going to be a blast. And then the following Friday is my stand-up. First time in nine months doing my hour with a ton of new material. So please get a ticket at NowhereComedyClub.com. You can use the code SDSC for either one for a discounted ticket. Cool. Steve. Uh, next week, I have both a director's commentary show with Brett Druck and Jared Berenstein. And then I also have a regular stand-up show on the 28th. And uh, LaBelle said in the chat, has anyone ever seen Benedict Cumberbatch trying to pronounce Penguin? 
Uh, I assume he does just as good of a job as a penguin trying to pronounce Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Rachel, did catch up on for the audience? Yeah. Yeah. Adler says, Steve's dick can cut glass, but does it bend like his fingers? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Steve's dick probably does bend that way so he can fuck somebody while still checking email. <laughs> that's the that's what doggy style is for ben <laughs> the laptop on her back <laughs> very hard to it's it's easy. Easy. It's much easier to have a crooked dick but you do you <laughs> hey, yo, front row. we appreciate you a lot it was good to you. thanks so much guys we will see you on tuesday right now love y'all thank you tomorrow, for tomorrow. Participating. I will, i'll be just in and out tomorrow for like uh, 30 minutes because I gotta catch a plane, but uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow at uh, noon Pacific, 3 Eastern. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Rachel, anything you want to say before you get out of here? Um, let's see. So, the cameras are getting turned off. What do I want to say? First off, like the generosity of the fans, unbelievable. Like, the, I just I can't get over it. Every episode, we were almost a year into this, over 200, and it's just it, it still is astounding to me. So, thank you all. I will, we'll be back tomorrow at noon Pacific, right? Tomorrow, Saturday? It's noon Pacific. Noon, noon Pacific. Noon Pacific. Yeah. Noon Specifically pa noon. Pacific Ocean? <laughs> Specific Ocean. Um, I just want to say, walk for me, baby. <laughs> you, baby. Is the genre of, of that song cake pop? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Waste time with a masterpiece. Don't waste time. <laughs> masterpiece. Yeah, thank again. The, the, the general. How many words are in this fucking song? You guys are all <laughs> appreciate you. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. And Ben, auto -ero auto erotic asphyxiation is the best pun you've ever had in your life. I really <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, you guys, oh my God, what did I say about today? I mean, between everybody coordinating the backgrounds and then the auction for the sign, like, what a what what an amazing show. So, and, and knowing that my prom picture is going to have a good home. I think that's important <laughs> as well. Uh, what, a, what a show, you guys. I just want to say uh, this has not been the easiest move. There have been a lot of things that have gone wrong. And I really appreciate you guys making me feel great about it. So thank you for today. That was, that was awesome. Of course, Steve. We love you, and we're very happy you left town. <laughs> 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 oh thank you guys for being with us not only does this do you guys get more and more generous but somehow the show also 200 plus episodes deep keeps getting odder and odder we love you good night everybody <laughs>